Hi friends, it's teacher Millie. I'm here for our story. I hope everyone is fine. Are you all good? I think you're doing good and you're good leaders. I'm here for a story. Are you ready for the story? Yeah, it's time for our story. But we, before we go in for our story, we are going to first have this song. Are you ready for the song? Yes. And the song goes like, roll, roll, roll your boats, roll, roll, roll your boats, gently down the stream, gently down the stream. Merry, 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 life is but a dream. Do you know that song? I guess some of you know it, some may, may not know it, but we are going to go together can we do it one more time faster faster let's go roll 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 your boat roll 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 your boat gently down the stream gently down the stream merry 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 life is but a dream yeah that is our song and friends it's now time for our story it's time for our story when it's time for for, for the story, you sit upright, you cross your legs, you put hands to your self and do good listening, do good listening and let's listen to our lovely story and the title of our story this week is Baby Baboon. Everyone repeat after me, Baby Baboon and you know where baboons live? Have you ever seen one? I guess I've ever seen a baboon in the zoo. Baboons always live in the forest, in the forests or in the bush. And when you go to visit the zoo, you always see the baboons. They are wild animals. Ah, our story so goes like baby baboon. Once upon a time, 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 time. Baboon, baboon and baby baboon were playing in a leafy tree outside Leopardy's cave. Baboon and baby baboon were playing outside Leopardy's cave. Leopard was hungry but was too lazy. Leopard was very hungry but he was too lazy. He was, oh. I'm so tired. I can't move out. He was hungry, but he didn't want to go out and look for something to eat. So, Leo, so he was very lazy, yet he was very hungry. Friends, being lazy is not good. Being lazy is not good. All the time you wait for mommy to bring for you tea. You wait for auntie to come and pick your cup. That's being lazy and it's not good. Soon here came hop, hopping along leopard. Leopard leaped up from the long grass and chased hair. He chased him backwards and forwards until, until hair ran down a hole in the river bank. I've got you, said the leopard. He hid behind a big yellow buck tree, waiting for her to come out again. He waited and waited and her didn't come out. Oh. Up in the tree, baby baboon laughed. Ha <laughs> ha! Leopard grew thirsty and tired of waiting. He called to baboon and baby baboon. I'm going to the river for a drink. If you, if, you make, if you make sure that hair doesn't come out, I'll share with you my dinner. So Leopard wanted to go out and get a drink, but he felt like, I think I should leave someone here to help me guard. So he told them that if you get him, I'll share my dinner with, with you. So Baboon came down and watched the, the hole, but while she waited, he ran to the end of the tunnel and dug his way out. He was guarding, but unfortunately, Mr. Hare dug a deep hole out and 
he he just went away so he missed him let's see what happened next leopard looked up just in leopard looked up just in time to see hair coming coming in from the distance and up in the tree baby baboon laughed and laughed haha you can't get me i've run away so you let her get you let her get away he lowered i'll have to eat you instead so baby baboon and the mother ran off and leopard chased them and chased them round round and round baboon ran to the top of a tall fever tree this was the fever tree it was very it was tall so baboon and the baby baboon ran to that tall tree but baby baboon ran to slow since he was a baby he was very slow he was very slow he kept on running but on a slow pace so leopard caught him caught him firmly by the tail he was very slow so mr leopard mr leopard came running after him at the end of it he caught him by the tail and baby baboon didn't laugh baby baboon didn't laugh he was very angry and he was he feared he feared the leopard he shouted help someone to help me someone to help me he cried so now clever velvet monkey up the tree there was a monkey you know monkeys are also found in the bush or in the forest so mr monkey was up on a certain tree and he was watching everything that was taking place so as he watched that was taking place he called out to the, to the leopard and told the leopard baboons are very tough to eat but i can tell you how to get them i can help you to get them so he said to him make them i can help you to get them and make them to be very good to eat they can make a good delicious meal he was like they are very good they are very delicious and i can teach you how to get them i can teach you how to get them how is that leopard was like oh how can i do it may you please help me so leopard said that please help me how can i get them since you say that they are very hard to get can you please advise me so you throw away a baboon high as you can be in the air so suggested the velvet monkey the more times you throw it high the the earlier you get it all the easier you manage to get it back so let's see just as he flew up just as he flew by baboon grumbled baby baboon uh, sorry just as he flew by baboon grabbed baby baboon and they were swinging away through that throughout the trees so when the leopard threw the threw the baby baboon up mother baboon was ready to catch him so he got him and they just flew away and baby baboon laughed and laughed ha ha i've gone away i've you've not got me i've gone bye bye and leopard was very crosser and hungry than ever then ran after them and chased them up and down but could not catch them he ran after them but he didn't find them oh so that means that he missed out on eating them to this day if you look carefully up in the tall trees you may see leopard laugh lying in the wait for baboon they are telling us that when you go when you go out for a tour in those forests you may find that leopards are always lying down thinking that maybe i may get a baboon to eat so 
When you take a walk in the forests or in the bush, you may find a leopard lying down and you just you just and you just hear the baby baboons laughing. That's the end of our story. Do you remember the title of the story? Our story is the baby baboon. You can get this book and you read more. It is a good story. Bye-bye, children.